Critically evaluating websites is a process that takes time and practice to master. Here, you'll find basic tips for identifying credible sources on the Internet that are suitable for an academic research paper. I'll show you how determining currency, relevancy, objectivity, authority, and quality can help you master evaluating information you find online. Currency is all about time. When you find things online, you should be able to locate the date of publication or the date the website was most recently updated. Information should be up-to-date and timely for your topic. Relevancy is key. Not only should an author's credentials be relevant to the topic, but the information you're looking at should be relevant to the topic of your paper. Website authors often have their own agenda and biases, like selling products or advocating for legislation. Be sure to consider whether an author's information is biased when evaluating objectivity. Speaking of the author, who or what is it? Always look for clues that an author is an expert who is qualified and has the authority to write on your topic. Ensuring a website is of high quality is one of the most important skills when it comes to critical evaluation. Typos, unprofessional fonts, inappropriate images are all clues that a website might be of poor quality. Let's say I'm writing a research paper on health and smoking. When I find a website, I need to try and determine its credibility. First, is it clear when the site was created or most recently updated? This site appears to have been updated from 1996 through 2012. This article has a date of 1995, so it's not very current. There are pages on this site with no date. These are the kinds of things to look for when it comes to currency. There are some resources listed, books for sale. I clicked through the links and most of these books are published from 1997 to 2006. The books may be about health and smoking, but we still need to ask deeper questions like how objective is this website and the books linked. I also see advertising on the page. This doesn't necessarily rule the page out but it is another clue that perhaps this website has a spin that isn't going to work for me. Next, who are the authors of this content and are they credible? I can't find site authors listed, so I won't be able to address this, which is troubling when it comes to determining authority. Finally, I need to ask if the information found here is of high quality. Additionally, font sizes and type vary by page and there are a couple of broken links. This site is not intended for academic research, nor is primary research a part of its mission. Let's take a look at another website. This page has a much more current looking design. At the bottom of the page, I can see it's sponsored by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the National Institutes of Health, the National Cancer Institute, and USA.gov. These are some of the leading national health organizations. At the bottom of the page, we can also see an option to learn more about each organization and about the website. Though there are images found throughout the website, they are all relevant to the topic of smoking and health. The fonts and colors being used are professional in nature. There are multiple areas we can explore about quitting smoking. This link is for the benefits of quitting and then links to additional aspects of the benefits. A lot of this feels more introductory, so I'm going to click this link for health professionals. This page links out to a site and articles that are more in depth. I should probably look at these resources too. For example, there is a link for a quick reference guide for clinicians. When I click through to this page, I can see a very thorough article with the authors clearly listed. The publication date is also available. Throughout the pages on this site, including the home page, notice there's no advertising or any claims putting forth a biased agenda. So, this site is current. Its information is relevant for my research topic. Even though this site itself doesn't have in-depth research, it offers a good overview and links to reputable sites. 
the information we found was written objectively. Keep in mind, there's no single indicator of the quality or credibility of a website. Critically evaluating websites means that before you use information in your research, you need to ask these types of important questions and find their answers first. The quality of your paper and your own credibility as an author depend on how well you are able to critically evaluate information sources. And remember, if you need additional research assistance, just ask us.